It has been four years since Milenga District Hospital was commissioned. The facility has a catchment area of over 20,000 people. Since the hospital was opened to the public, people have been accessing quality health care services in their vicinity. However, the institution is yet to become a full-fledged hospital and it lacks certain medical equipment, among them incubators. The lack of incubators at the facility poses a challenge, especially when dealing with premature babies. Mary Kamfwa, a midwife, now explains how she cares for babies born prematurely. Prevention of hypothermia, we are using kangaroo method. When the temperature goes too low, we, could, uh, we usually put the baby on this uh, research stair. This research stair is helping us a lot, but if we, we can appreciate if we have got an incubator because the baby can be nursed in that incubator throughout since this baby is a, a premature baby. The medical officer in charge says having incubators is essential in eradicating but, uh, neonatal deaths. Uh, we need partners in terms of um, uh, having even an incubator that can help uh, uh, children that are born uh, as premature that might need those services because we know that um, what uh, brings uh, mortality in uh, such uh, patients is hypothermia. So if there is an incubator, it will be helpful. It is anticipated that the Ministry of Health will quickly look into the matter to promote efficiency in the delivery of health care services at the facility. Linda Mopemo, Zanis, Milenge District, Luwata Province.